What is up guys, welcome back to my second channel. If you're not aware of my second channel, this is going to be mainly a bass fishing channel. And it's going to be a ton of stuff that's never posted on my main channel. So if you love bass fishing as much as I do, go ahead, be sure to subscribe because the videos coming on this channel, you're not going to want to miss them. But today I've got a lot of requests for my rod and reel arsenal. So here we go boys, we're about to go ahead and show you my rod and reel arsenal. I think I've got like 10 rods. Boom, boom, boom. I've got these three laid out because they were actually used not too long ago. These two are the ones that I used latest and then that one's kind of just sitting out there because it's one of my favorite rods that one right there actually let's start right here first this is probably my number one favorite rod i have it's an okuma tcs scott martin series and it is a crankbait jerkbait rod and right there of course i got a jerkbait on it jerkbaits honestly guys is my favorite thing to fish simply because i can fish it with one hand while i'm surfing through instagram on the other hashtag 21st century fisherman am i right am i right hey, huh? okay i'm sorry that's the rod right there i like it because you know it's blue and i like the color blue and then on it, I have a loose speed spool right here. This is the BB1. Gear ratio 5 something. It's something really low. I don't know the exact gear ratio. Maybe we can get down here. And oh, it's 6 4 to 1. Never mind. It's not too slow. But it doesn't have an anti-reverse bearing. So that means that I can reel it, but then it'll always come back. Which, I kind of like that. Not so much that it's useful, just because it's different than all my other ones. But that right there, by far, one of my favorite rigs. You'll see me using that all summer as we go fishing on this channel. I'll set that rod right down here, and I'll pull out probably my second favorite rod. Or probably actually my third. But anyways, this one here is a Denali J2 series. Just a standard, like, just a standard little rod there. I don't think, I don't know how much, I don't know. It's just... <laughs> I bought this like three years ago. I almost forgot what it is. But it's a Denali. Do I really know much about the rod? No, I'm... Oh, yeah, I do. It's a medium. It's a medium action. That one right there, I forgot to tell you. It's also a medium action. Oh, yeah, and I need to tell you what I fish on them. That right there, jerkbait, crankbait rod. I usually only fish a jerkbait. I'm the kind of guy that literally has a jerkbait tied on year-round. And I catch fish on them year-round, too. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I can... I catch fish on them. Maybe because it's one of the only baits I fish... Maybe because I'm just an expert. But yeah, basically, that's my jerkbait rod 24-7. Now, this setup here, on the other hand, this is like my main go-to spinning rod. I use it for everything right here. I got a small, super finesse little swim bait, basically. Sometimes I'll put on a drop shot or a wacky worm, maybe a shaky head. Probably not a shaky head for this rod. But it's got, I think, 15-pound braid. And let me tell you guys, 15-pound braid on a spinning rod, that is perfect. Now, let's go on to probably, I don't know, guys. Like, my, my, my favorite rod is by far that one, but my second third and fourth is all basically tied. This is probably one of them too. It's a St. Croix. It says that it's a medium heavy action, but let me tell you guys, that is a, uh, that's whenever this thing was still 6'6". Now it's about 6 foot because the tip got cut off. Yeah, that, that was a long story, okay? Now it's a broomstick. It does not have a split grip. It's one solid long foam handle. The right, the reel right here is a Johnny Morris Carbon Light Series. I don't know the most about it. I bought this from one of my best friends. And honestly, guys, that's all I know about it. It's got 30 pound braid. I use this for top water. It is phenomenal. I tell you, it is amazing. It's basically my full-time topwater spook rod. This thing can kill a spook. Now let's go on into the rod locker, the ones that I've really not used since last year. Pulling out on top, we have my actual crankbait rod. Now you may be saying, Kendall, dude, if that rod right there works perfectly for both jerkbaits and crankbaits, then why do you have another one for just crankbaits? And the reason is because sometimes I want to use them both at the same time. I don't know why. Maybe it's an addiction. Of course it's addiction. It's called fishing. But this here is a 7.6 Duck It Ghost cranking rod. For some reason I have a spoon on there. Don't ask me why. I don't know why I have a spoon. And then right here just a standard loose speed spool. Nothing special there. I think 12 pound fluorocarbon. Also got 12 pound fluorocarbon on that reel. So I used the same line right there. So far guys I don't think I've caught a fish on this. But I can tell you one thing. I really like the rod. Like I've never actually caught a fish on it. But I can tell you it's about to this year. Stay tuned, my friends. Let's go back in the rod locker. Oh, my gosh. Let's pull out another white rod, right? Why not? This in here is a white rod. However, it is not a ducket. It's actually Bass Pro Shop's Micro Light. Am I right? No, Carbon Light. Yeah, Carbon Light. I bought this last year. It's got 17-pound fluorocarbon on it. I thought this was going to be my flipping rod, like just all times flipping jigs everywhere, until I tried it a little bit and realized it was not a good flipping rod at all. This is a 7.6 rod, but I take that back. It's not an awful rod for flipping. The line is an awful line for flipping. It's stinking 17 pound fluorocarbon. That's some big stuff, guys. It's way too thick for me. But what I'm thinking about doing, putting some 30 pound braid on it and just go to town with it. I like braid. It's really good. But what do I use this for now? Giant swim baits. Yeah, that's basically it. 
giant swim baits and a rigs with this line but i'll be honest before i take it out fishing i'm definitely changing the line now let's go back in the rod locker i think i'm just well though there's a still a few more important ones we'll pull out this one and one more the other ones don't really matter this one here is another one of my most favorite spinning rules it's like this one and that one are my go-to and i'm usually a lot of times using them both at the same time well not at the same time but when one's on my boat another one is too this in here, a Dobbins rod. I don't really know the F Dobbins Fury. It's a black and green rod. And then I got it paired up with this Lose Mach 2 Speed Spool spinning reel, which is also black and green. And they match up perfectly. Probably one of my most snazziest combos, if I had to say. I think this one is also a medium action. Yeah, medium fast action. I generally use this one for my shaky heads and my other spinning reel for like wacky worms and stuff. Right here, I actually have a little Ned rig on it. I use this one for my bottom baits. And that's because, well, it has fluorocarbon. And for some reason, I just want to use a shaky head with fluorocarbon. I don't know why. We'll set that one down, and I'm going to pull out one more. This one is another one of my top favorite rods. I don't know if you guys think this is as funny as I am, but like, all my rods are my favorite. So, I don't really know about that. <laughs> They're like my children. Uh, you gotta love them all. But this in here really is one of my favorites. It has 15 pound fluorocarbon. Perfect. This one, I used it not too long ago, I think, spinnerbait fishing. But it is a quantum smoke reel. Great reel, guys. Like, I'm not sponsored by quantum. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not sponsored by any rod company. I'm not sponsored by any real company unfortunately. But all these rods and reels that I'm showing you, I've bought them myself or obtained them myself. And because of that, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Like that big carbon light? I hate that rod. I wish I'd never bought it. But back to this one. This one is one of my favorites. I really like it. It is a Dixie Custom Rod. It says my name. Kendall Gray, if you didn't actually believe that was my name, it is. And then a Quantum Smoke Reel. This in here was originally going to be my jig rod, and but now it works so good for spinner baits. I think I'm just going to use it as my spinner bait rod. But at the moment, it's still my spinner bait, jig rod, everything, Texas rig rod. It has to do a lot simply because the big white one does not do its job. I'm going to show y'all in the rod box one more second just to show you. Oh, well, I've still got a few more that I really like. I really like this one. This one's 7.6, medium heavy. Huge rod, 20 pound line. Um, Abu Garcia winch. It's an aura winch. Is that the name of that? Yeah, it's an aura winch. So it's not the expensive winch. It's a cheaper one. But 7.6 rod, I throw A rigs on that a lot. Then I have this one right here. It is a Lose Mach 1 spinning rod with a Fluger presidential reel on it. That one's good. I mean, I've used it for a really long time. Adam actually threw it in the pond a couple times. So kind of lost some value at that point. But another reel, just a backup reel, is this Fluger presidential limited edition 2016 and yes, it's limited edition, but it's literally exactly the same as that one. That was the Presidential XT, by the way. And then I got that rod. I really don't use it ever. But then my favorite rod is probably this one. You know, just in case something wild happens. I always got to have that in there. With the pink line and everything, just in case, you know, you get into like a rap battle or something on the lake. Got to have that. But anyways, guys, that's it. Right here, all these different tools. These are my tools. I use them all the time. If you stay tuned with this channel, go ahead and subscribe to Kindle Grade 2. And you'll get to see them in action this year. If you don't subscribe to Kindle Grade 2, you may or may not get to see a lot of those. Simply because I'm saving a lot of the bass fishing content for this channel. Simply because I don't know, but I'm going to do it anyways. And here's what we're talking about the other thing that all this rain done. So I don't know if y'all remember, but I had a big old high wall here. And you know, there was trees growing out of it. News flash, we got a landslide. Now the trees are down here in the field. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? I'm talking like these aren't some little trees either. Like these are, oh snap, just stepped on one. But these aren't little trees either. And that's just, that's a clean slide right there. Not much stayed intact at all. Deer used to burn this up walking up and down it, but I don't know what they're going to do now. That right there is a pretty steep cliff, little undercut or undercut bank or whatever you want to call that. I don't know, but this is wild, guys. Like, this is the biggest thing that's happened in like three years. I mean, the last big thing that happened around here was whenever the building, you know, the little hunting building, the wind picked it up, threw it over the mountain. That's why it looks like a crushed pop can right now. But yeah, I mean, here's what we're looking at. I don't really think many people knows about this besides me either. Well, I hope not. It is my property. <laughs> but anyways, I'll go over here and, uh, Try to get a better look at it. Oh, snap. Look at that rock. That's a big old rock. I'd like to have been here when this happened. I bet that was I bet that was amazing. Some of these trees are actually from up there. Like they had a they moved some pretty good distance. They went from way up there, slid all the way down the hill. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we got good firewood now. I was just about to climb that mountain too. But you know what? That just makes it even better. Go down in the comments and tell me what I should do next. Because I don't usually do videos like this on my main channel, but this is my second channel, so I can do like 
anything I want to or anything you want to in this case. But anyways, Grey Gang. Grey Gang, Two Gang, I don't know. Okay, bye.